Hi moms, I'm Hannah. And I'm Margo. And today we are here to talk with you about toll-like receptors and the scavenger receptor specifically. Toll-like receptors are transmembrane proteins, which are a part of the innate immune system that serve to recognize pathogenic molecules and activate pathways to stimulate a defensive immune response. Here pictured is the membrane in blue and white, which the toll-like receptors are a part of, making them transmembrane proteins. The innate immune system forms the first and second lines of defense and is a system that is naturally present in your body. Here pictured on the left are many cells that are present within innate immunity. When we mention pathogens, we are referring to any virus, bacterium, or microorganism that is disease-causing. Toll-like receptors serve to recognize the patterns in these cells in order to form an immune response to rid the body of the imposing pathogen. Pictured on the right are various pathogens when stained and viewed microscopically. Scavenger receptors, although not toll-like receptors, aid toll-like receptors by acting as a co-receptor to recognize and clean up a wide range of macromolecules. Scavenger receptors recognize many molecular-associated pathogen patterns including LPS and gram-negative bacteria, LTA and gram-positive bacteria, and fungal pathogens. As shown in the image, these pathogen patterns are called PAMPs and are used by the scavenger receptor to recognize a foreign microbe and destroy it. Now that you have an understanding of toll-like receptors and the basics behind which cells scavenger receptors target, we will focus on understanding the innate process which occurs when a pathogen is present. First, a pathogen encounters a scavenger receptor on a macrophage cell like the one seen here. Macrophages are phagocytic cells which ingest foreign particles and are found routinely at infection sites. After the initial step, the macrophage engulfs the receptor and pathogen in a membrane vesicle, a fluid-filled sac. Lysosomes are organelles which contain enzymes and, as pictured here, fuse with the pathogen-carrying vesicle and empty degrading compounds into the vesicle. This combination creates a phagolysosome which combines the phagocytic membrane and a lysosome which continues degrading the pathogen. When the contents are completely degraded, the pathogen is eliminated. Yay! Yay! We know immunology can be confusing, but we hope you now have a better understanding of scavenger receptors and hope you tune in next time.